Hi ho, Steven here from the Around Table, doing my second installment of my version of a superhero movies when I grew up in the 80s, which was Action Heroes. The next guy, of course, is Sly Stallone, Sylvester Stallone. You know, yo, Adrian, what are you going to do? Uh, I got to do what I got to do thing, right? Um, love Stallone. If we get past the Rocky movies, you know, everybody loves the underdog story. He did that well. Um, I think still when I watch those Rocky movies, every time he trains, I want to go to the gym again and train hard. Um, I wanted to say my favorites are one, one and two, maybe three, and then I think it's the fifth one where after there's a long gap, he comes back and he realizes, you know, he's at a certain age and he's got to fight again. And what is the impact? What are the ramifications psychologically and physically for a man his age? I thought that was really good. The speech he gives to his son about, you know, it's how you take the hits and get up from him. Very inspirational. Uh, Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger's always the Schwarzenegger. I'm sorry, Stallone. Stallone always has a pretty good message in his movies. Um, the first Rambo, excellent movie. Um, about John Rambo coming to a town. He's getting abused by the sheriff and his goons. And he kind of loses his stuff and goes on an all-out war with them. Needless to say, uh, chaos ensues and a lot of death happens. So. But uh, the, the part for me is the ending with uh, Richard Crenna and Stallone. I think that was a very cool moment where Stallone shows a little bit of his range. How he shows about how he's got some PST from the war, you know. Very good. Uh, then I think it was the fourth Rambo, uber violent, but very good. Uh, the last Rambo, I'm not sure I liked it. Um, next, I would have to say Demolition Man, where he plays a police officer who's frozen and kind of reawoken in the future and has to fight his old nemesis, Wesley Snipes, who's played by Wesley Snipes. I forgot the guy's name, but if you know what I mean, it's really good. Cliffhanger is another one from Stallone. We're after a couple of bombs, Stallone is back showing he can make a blockbuster and it's about, I think some, he can, he's, I forgot, it's always about, he's climbing mountains, sorry, I forgot about this movie, it just popped in my head, and I think John Lithgow is the, is the bad guy and they lose money on the mountain side, in the mountain range, and they use Stallone to find it, thought that was pretty good, pretty action packed, um, Underrated movie from Stallone, Copland, where he plays a sheriff of a small part of Jersey, which is all owned by policemen and becomes known as Copland. And he's kind of turned this literally a deaf ear to the situation until some things go wrong. He's got to stand up for himself, for what he believes in. Really good. He packed on a lot of weight for this. And he holds his own as an actor against Harvey Cartel and Robert De Niro and Ray Liotta. I mean, if anybody thinks Stallone can't act, watch this movie. Um, it's from the director of Logan and 310 to Yuma. Um, Manny Gold, if I'm saying his name right, I forgot his name, sorry, I'm just walking on the street, I don't have access to it. Uh, great Stallone movie. Uh, another one underrated, Nighthawks, where Stallone plays an undercover cop who has to find and apprehend any way possible a terrorist played by the late great Rutger Hauer uh, great movie uh, underrated classic by Stallone I think that's it for him um, those are the ones I really like from Stallone and he became a very big hero for me in the movies um, oh sorry Cobra popped in my head very very uber um, violent movie um, Stone, I think, has to protect the witness from this group who's willing to do anything to kill her. Very, very violent, very dark for a Stallone movie, but it's good. I enjoyed that one a lot. Um, sometimes I'll say Assassins with him and Antonio Banderas is not a bad film. Not his greatest, but it's decent. Um, and that's it. Those are my heroes. Uh, Stallone was another one. Um, I think the uh, previous episode was Schwarzenegger, or the first one was Schwarzenegger. It's not Stallone. Um, toss up on who I like best. It depends on the day. Uh, but Stallone is up there for sure. Uh, I think the next one I'll probably talk about is uh, either uh, Van Damme was not bad, or Dolph Lundgren. Uh, we'll 
we'll see from there. So, you know what? Thank you for your support. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Uh, you know what? Send me your comments. Send me your favorite Stallone films and why. And let me know why he was uh, your hero during the, during the 80s and 90s and beyond. All right? This is Steve from the Roundtable saying live the dream.